Hi there, uh, this is just uh, a short screencast to help you understand the relationship between lung structure, diffusion pathway and the effect of infection. What we have in this diagram is an alveolus, uh, so a little air sac in the lung that fills with fresh air with 20% oxygen and the oxygen diffuses a pot across this pathway through the alveolo, alveolar wall capillary wall and uh, is then collected by red blood cells in the capillary as they move through. However, this diagram is too simplistic to help you understand the effect of infection. So we'll look at a more realistic diagram. Here is a better diagram of an alve alveolus or several alveoli and here's a microscopic uh, section showing the walls of alveoli and the walls of capillary. There's a capillary here, there's one here. So you can see that these microscope slides are mainly space and we're interested in these layers here. Okay, very thin layers between little capillaries and um, the alveoli. So we need to go into a high power microscope image to have a look at this. The first thing we need you to understand is what you're looking at. So here's a capillary here. Okay, I'm showing you the outline of the capillary. The dark circles here, these are red blood cells. This whole area at the top is inside the alveolus, so this is air and same down here this is air and again so this is the very very thin alveolar wall and just inside that is the very very thin capillary wall both walls made of epithelial cells that are very thin so the diffusion pathway is from the top across here and from the bottom across here. Just that distance, very small distance, which means diffusion is efficient because the distance is so small. However, this lung has got a, an area of infection here. So what's happened is between the alveoli wall and the capillary wall there is some fibrous tissue and there's an influx of white blood cells, macrophages, phagocytes dealing with the infection. So at this point the diffusion pathway is all of this distance to get the oxygen into this capillary from this part of the alveoli. Okay, so you can see there's a huge increase in the distance of the diffusion pathway, so diffusion will take a lot longer here. Now this uh, section only shows a small area of infectious, uh, infected material, so there's an inflamed area in this part, but this diffusion pathway, the capillary wall and the epithelial wall are very close together along this edge and also down here so there's no major problem here but you can imagine that if you have a, an extended area of inflamed tissue here or fibrous tissue then the lung capacity is going to be significantly review, reduced so this is what we're talking about by uh, commenting on the increased diffusion pathway going from this distance here to this distance here. I hope that makes sense to you uh, and I thought a couple of microscope images would support you in your understanding of that concept.